Well, hello America, how we doing today? Uh, I need me a good cameraman. <laughs> I uh, not doing too good with the uh, the backlight, am I? Uh, where are we at? We're at the shop today. What are we doing at the shop? We've been working on the van. Yep, there we go. Uh, I've been working on the van today. Just uh, I've had a lot of little things that I've been putting together over the last few times I've been home. Little thing here, little thing here. Well, you got to build it and let it dry, or you got to let it dry and then paint it, or whatever. So I've had all these little things that I've done stuff, but I need to mount in the truck or the van today. So I did a lot of that today. Uh, what, what were they? Well, we'll get to that in a minute. First things first. I talked to the mechanic this morning. Uh, called him and said, "Hey, it's Tuesday morning. You've had it for a week now." You know, he had he had problems, uh, and I'm working with him on it because he uh, he's got a small shop, a small shop, and he had uh, three mechanics. He got him and his son and another retired guy that works part time. Just does the simple stuff like like you know, you're fine. Does simple things like brakes and whatnot. You know, just not the internal diesel stuff, but just the simple things. And uh, anyway, he 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 wasn't working. Of course, he can't work on mine because he doesn't do the motor type stuff. And his son has been sick, and uh, so he finally got back to work on Monday. Uh, his son been out for a couple of weeks, I guess. And anyway, he finally got back to work on Monday and uh, started tearing my truck apart yesterday. And he said, good news, the, uh, the, the bolts that I was worried about twisting off, he, he twisted one off. So it was the one that broke plus one more. So out of 12 bolts, two of them twisted off. So he says, yeah, that's, that won't be any big problem. We'll just drill them out and everything and uh, uh, should be able to just put mount everything back up. He said he sent the, mount, the, the manifold off to the machine shop to get, get smoothed back off, you know, give it a nice smooth uh, 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 surface again. Oh, why, I, I'm not sure, I don't know. But anyway, apparently the, it wasn't smooth enough. He was worried about the, the gasket not sealing very well or something, so they had to remachine that. So anyway, he did that, and uh, he said, I'll probably get that back in the morning and uh, spend tomorrow, Wednesday, buttoning it all back up, and I should be able to pick it up Wednesday or maybe Thursday morning, and after that, I guess, back on the road. Back out making some money, I guess. Instead of spending money, I'll be making money. What do you think? So that's a good thing, right? So anyway, uh, back to the van. That's, that's, that's the update on the semi. Back to the van. What, we, what have I done today? Okay, um, remember last time I was, well, the last time I did a video on the van here, I was mounting this, uh, I was cutting a hole to mount this stove, this propane burner stove. And um, when I built this, I knew I had this stove, so the cabinet on the inside I made to fit perfect. Okay, <laughs> thought I was being smart. I made it fit perfect, so when I cut this hole, it would fit perfectly inside this cabinet. The, the, the divider is right here. So let's say that's 12 inches, it's a 12 inch cabinet. Real smart. Then like a dummy, I go and cut the hole out, put the light switch in here. What does that do? That intrudes into that space. So, uh, how am I gonna do it? So I was thinking on, the, on the, the, the framework of the stove, stainless steel, cut it out. So this you know, would mount inside, actually inside the stove then. Then I get to think, wait a minute, this is a stove and there's heat here, and I'm probably not the best idea to put wiring, electrical wiring, inside of a burning stove. Uh, now let's rethink this. So after I mounted this in here, I had the, the blue box, and it's a low profile uh, switch box. Um, I just stuck it in there, just trying to think. Well, this is half inch plywood, so I stuck it in there and it stuck out about that much. And it dawned on me, just make a spacer. Make a block, a spacer, and put a hole in it, and then mount the switch to that. And that makes up, this, the box is about a quarter, one and a quarter inch deep. Well, I've got three quarters and a half inch, that's one and a quarter. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so, that's what I've been working on today, is one of the, I built this, and put that up, stained it and all that. Uh, this is a, uh, just a plain white um, uh, switch plate cover. Um, and I threw up some stain on it, but I'm, I'm gonna take it off. The one I had on there was a wooden one, kind of like this outlet right here. It's one of those wooden ones. But when I was taking it apart, it was it, it cracked and everything. And I thought, you know, it's, it's not any good. So I threw it away and I'll go buy a new one. So this is just temporary right here, but it's done at least. So light switch works, lights work and everything. So, all right, so everything else is on the inside. So let's go inside. 
Okay, so here's the here's the stove, and uh, oh oh oh, let me show you this. This is the uh, the countertop. Remember, I told you the countertop. I went and bought cloth, and I put the two part epoxy uh, uh, countertop cover. You know, I pour, you know, pour it on there, and it smooths out, and then it dries. Anyway, I did all that. I thought, well, I need to put something something pretty under there. So I thought and thought and thought, and I thought, hey, I know, we'll get some cloth. Get some cloth, lay that down, and then when you pour the epoxy on, it'll impregnate, go all the way through it, and and you'll have whatever color of cloth. Well, I thought, well, here, this is this is a camper that will be out in the woods quite a bit, I suppose. And I, I come across this this cloth that looked like camouflage, like kind of like army OD green and brown camouflage. And I bought it thinking it's going to be camouflage. Well, it doesn't look camouflage once. When it's dry, it looks one color, but when you know, when clothing, when cloth, when you get it wet, it changes color, and it darkened way, way up on me. Then after I got it all done, I was like, oh man, it won't come back to the regular color, you know, the green and the camo look. Then I got to think, wait a minute, it looks more like a cowhide. So actually, I really like it. It come out, it's dirty. I need to clean it, but but uh, it's I really like it. It it's it's kind of a um, I don't know what kind of fur pattern that is. But anyway, it's like a, a cowhide. Uh, brindle, maybe? No, it's not brindle, but anyway, you get the idea. So I got that. Um, remember, I was looking for stainless, uh, like a stainless steel back, backsplash? Well, I found this down at Home Depot, and it's those one, in, or one foot by one foot, or whatever size, tiles that you peel and stick. Well, that's all it is. It's aluminum peel and stick, little, little bitty pieces, but they're all in this big piece. Uh, um, plate and stick them all on there and they all kind of line up kind of like tetris a tetris game or something they all line up like like bricks stuck them on there and everything's good so i like that put some trim work up and everything got that in today i had that done already and i, I put through it over here for now i remounted all that right here i'm going to put some more of this uh, uh cedar that cedar will go down through here and finish that off. Uh, the inside of this cabinet, I need to paint just like I, this is painted white. I want to paint this on the inside, so I got to do that. Um, faucet goes right there, but I, I haven't put this on because I don't want to break the thing. But also, I need to put caulking here. I, I put a caulking, caulking in it. I goofed it up, <laughs> so I need to recaulk it. So I've been, I peeled all that caulking or most of it up. And I'm going to recaulk that. Uh, oh, drawers. Let's see down here. This is the kitchen drawers for instance like that right there and it's got the uh the speaker felt in the, in the bottom you know the drawer liner put speaker felt in there okay and it's the soft clothes isn't that neat so the reason i bought the soft clothes is because see it has a pretty good little tug right there so when i'm driving down the road they won't want to open up i won't have to put locks on it that i think that will be enough to keep those closed What's going to be in here? This will be silverware on this one. This will be uh, uh, plates and small, you know, skillet frying pans. And on the bottom, be more your bigger pots, uh, maybe a, even a crock pot or something. So that's that. I still got to put door, you know, like kitchen cabinet doors swing open here and hinge them on the corners. Uh, down below, uh, what else we did here? Uh, this is one of the things I painted. I had to take all this out and repaint it. You know, painted it gloss black, and it's just an access. You feel good in this way, but also in this way. If I have something really long I want to carry, and I can open this up and lay it in here. Okay, uh, took that out, painted that all up. So when that that was all drying the last time I was uh, here, so I put that in today and uh, mounted my drawers. Worked on that light. So I'm getting all these things that I've been working on. I'm getting all. The finishing, what do you call it, uh, did 90% of it. So I've been doing a lot of 10%, 10%, 10%, and it's all kind of coming together. So so anyway, there's, that's painted. Uh, I'm going to probably put some doors on here, or maybe sliders, or maybe just curtains, or maybe nothing. Maybe just leave them open. I don't know. Um, I've still got two drawers, drawers over here uh, that I still I need. After the video's done, I'm going to mount them down here. So I've got a big drawer and a small drawer, and those are going to go oh, right down in here, big and small. Um, be, it'll be for the pantry, okay, for putting, uh, this This whole thing here is going to be for food and pantry storage, you know, for, this is your cooking utensils, and this is food storage, 
and this is just whatever. This is going to be mostly clothes, okay, fold up clothes. And then back here, I'm going to put a, uh, a, a closet to hang hanging clothes in there. That's where the refrigerator used to be. So uh, that's that. Uh, put these drawers in here, these, these shelves, I mean. Plywood and plywood glued, and that was all stuff I did last time I was home. Glued it up, but it wasn't dry yet, so I couldn't put it in. I still had to put the felt on, so put speaker felt on it, and those will just go right in here. I like that, and uh, like I said, mostly pantry. Uh, I'm gonna put, I got a lot of this wood trim type stuff. This this piece right here will probably be, be put right in here, cut off. This piece might be flopped down over here and made a shelf like, like that, okay? Uh, or I might just make a triangular shelf across here or something. I, I don't know. Play it as you know, play it by ear as we go. Uh, but there's another piece, one other big old board that's already over there. It's already somewhat cut. It still needs to be routered and edged and all that. But that's going to go right here with rounded corners, and it's going to be you know a little bit wider than this and longer, of course, and rounded over here. Uh, these little pieces like this, these little you know. 3H thing. Hey, Chief, what's up? My neighbor's dog just showed up. Um, little pieces like this will go right here to make a, a lip, so things that I set in here won't slide out. What else? Uh, 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 oh, I gotta turn you around here, so bear with me. Okay, we're turned around. This is the front of the van, and this is the factory headliner, okay? This headliner went all the way to the back because this was a passenger van. It had the headliner that came down and had air conditioning ducts that ran along the side that dumped air in to the cab cabin. Um, I took all that out, put this uh, cedar in, inside, and I've been scratching my head trying to figure out what to do with this. Trying to figure out what to do with that. And I thought, Put a piece of wood up here, scribe it, make it fit nice and flush, and scribe it here so it fits nice and flush here. So I'd have a little two-inch piece that curved around, you know, made a little, like a an edging bulkhead kind of thing. I don't know. Then I got to think, well, if I put that up, I'll still be able to over here see all this. You know, the, this notch, and you know, the, the stuff that should be covered up. Well, I've still got the headliner, okay? So I think what I'm going to do is cut off about a foot or so of that headliner, bring it in here and mount it, okay? Mount it up, and then, you know those uh, laser level things? You level it, and then it shoots a laser light all the way around the room kind of thing, so you can, you know, mount things level. I think you can turn them sideways, okay? And lay it on the floor and shoot a laser across here. So once I have that up there, shoot a laser across here, and wherever that laser is, cut it nice and straight. Take this piece out, throw it away, and that little piece, six inches or so, right here, will be there, and then do this and mount that. Dunno, we'll see. But that's an idea I got anyway. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, I don't know. But uh, anyway, so with that said, uh, what else was I gonna talk about? I think that's about it. Until then, I guess next time you see me, I'll probably be out on the road. So uh, pick up the truck tomorrow and be heading heading down the road going somewhere. Don't know where, but going somewhere, trying to make a dollar. So see you all then. Ciao. Later.